Hey guys, this review is for the Cheerson Drone Travel Case Trolley. You can see it here, it's a standard case, but it also has, similar to a suitcase, it has a handle that extends up, and it has wheels on the bottom as well, which is a fantastic feature. You can see the side here, and it's got the feet on two different sides. It's got these little feet over here on this side, and then on the bottom, with the wheels, you turn it, you can actually see that it has these feet down here as well. Turn it all the way around. This is the front. And there you have it. I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see what it holds. Real quick before I open it up, you can see this is a nice, tough, hard shell case. Very secure, very well built. And it's got these latches here that also have a key lock on them if you want to lock it. But a very well built case. So this is it open. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on a tripod and show you what's inside. Okay, so inside there's quite a bit of space. We've got the drone here in the middle and you can actually orient it however you want and it seems to fit fine with the battery attached. So you can see with that battery I have four other batteries so it'll hold a total of five batteries. And the propellers can be on when this it's in this case and they're perfectly, uh, they're not resting on anything to put stress on the motors, so I really like it for that feature because I hate having to take my blades off or my propellers off. But I also, oops, the gimbal guard is down there but it's not on, but that's all that's down there. I need to put that on there. Okay, so what else do we have in here? Let's start over here on the right. We have the remote control, and one thing about this is this is a really tight fit for the remote, and if you're not using, I've got the silicone case, this champagne colored on it, and it actually is quite a snug squeeze to push it down there, and you can see it kind of bunches up the silicone cover. But, a tight squeeze is a good thing, but it still fits even with the silicone case on, but you can see it's kind of loose up here because it's tight, and I imagine that'll loosen up a little bit over time as well. i um, got the cable, I've got a couple extra cables over here as well as the range extenders fit in here quite nicely and then a little pack of extra stuff that came with the Phantom. Um, I talked about the batteries already. There's four battery slots. Whoop, we're sliding. And then you've got this slot here which actually is designed, appears for the OEM power charger. Here's the cable and the charger's right there. It just slides right in, fits in there quite nicely. You could put a car charger or something else in there if you didn't want to carry that one around. In this far slot over here, I have my iPad Air. Fits in there and is protected. The documentation that came with the drone. I have one lens filter. I like to carry around a power bank in the event that my iPhone or iPad runs out of juice and need to charge it. And then last but not least we have the extra propellers that came with the... So lots of space and really I mean I don't know that I'm going to need this charger out and about. That's probably something I would leave home and take something else. So there's lots of space in this and it's really nice that it has the wheels and it's protected with all this padding in here. Got the, let me give you, now it's a mess, but up here you can see the kind of the egg carton padding. But yeah, when I put this in and close it, it feels super secure and I don't have any concerns about anything breaking or wobbling, even if I were to drop the case. I, I don't know that I'd throw it down the stairs, but I think it'd probably still be fine if I did. But I'm not going to test that, I'll let someone else do that. So, anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. If you thought this video was helpful, click thumbs up below. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.